Hey guys, welcome back. You know, before today, I hadn't left the house in about three months, and today, me and some friends decided to change that. We went outdoor bouldering in the middle of nowhere, and you know what happens? On today of all days, 343 go ahead and release a goddamn infinite teaser. And it's not just any kind of infinite teaser. This is a teaser that directly confirms the Banished are in the game. So before I break it down, I think we just need to watch it one more time. Occupy the ring. Within hours, it will be under our control. Humanity will burn. Their brazen defiance will be all but a memory. No more prophets. No more lies. We stand together, brothers to the end. We are his will, we are his legacy, we are the banished. So, whew, before we dissect what this mysterious character just said, let's actually speculate first about who this mysterious character might be. Firstly, it sounds a bit too high-pitched to be Atriox. I told you not to go inside. Within hours, it will be under our control. So I don't think it's him. I've heard some people say that it could be Latvalia, but again... Yes, and the AI. We still don't know how she accessed our... No more prophets. No more lies. Really doesn't sound like him to me. The enunciation and the sort of manner of speaking is definitely brutish and not elitish at all. Not even Halo 5 elitish. It's also definitely not Decimus because, well, Decimus is dead. Nor is it Colony or Voridus or Pavium. It doesn't sound like any of them. It doesn't sound like any of the banished leaders that we know of. My bets are on this mysterious character being a new character, probably another one of Atriox's l many lieutenants within the banished. The hour approaches. The forces occupy the ring. Within hours, it will be under our control. Okay, so there's a lot to break down in those three sentences. This is obviously talking about Zeta Halo, so it confirms that the Banished either A, won the war on the Ark, took control of Reach, as hinted at in the description of Shadows of Reach, and then made it to Zeta Halo by late 2561-ish. Or B, that the forces that occupy Zeta Halo weren't a part of the banished force that went to the Ark with Atriox and instead went to Reach and then to Zeta Halo for whatever reason. Or maybe this is even a different force to the one on Reach in Shadows of Reach. Maybe this is like a, a third set of banished forces. Either way, this to me suggests highly that this trailer, or teaser, takes place just before the war on Zeta Halo that humanity clearly lost and that led to the destruction of the Halo prior to the Discover Hope trailer last year. We saw the aftermath of that war in the trailer, and maybe this teaser is before that war. And then, by extension, it also suggests that its destruction was something to do with the Banished. However, Given that they clearly wanted to take control of the ring as opposed to destroy it, I would hazard a guess that it wasn't their doing. Maybe humanity destroyed the ring in a last-ditch effort to prevent the Banished from gaining control of it. Or maybe Cortana destroyed it so the Banished, one of her enemies, wouldn't have a halo to use against her. We'll touch more on that specific point in a minute, but now that the created are on my mind, I just noticed that not only is there no mention of the created in this trailer, but they actually haven't been mentioned in any form of infinite trailer or teaser yet. Quite interesting. Humanity will burn. Their brazen defiance 
will be all but a memory. So, this clearly confirms that the Banished are, or were, at war with humanity on the Halo. But saying that their brazen defiance will be all but a memory is... quite interesting. Who are humanity defying, exactly, and what is the Banished's motivation for wiping them out? Maybe the Banished encountered humanity on the back foot fighting a war that they were clearly losing, and upon seeing that they needed all the help they could get to survive, they tried to force them into a one-sided deal and humanity rejected it, so the Banished immediately classed them as an enemy and started fighting them. Or perhaps the Banished are allied in some manner with the Created. But I really hope not. I really hope that they don't go down that road. On a surface level, when you consider that Cortana could provide the Banished with the, all the resources and the supplies and the weapons and the ships they could ever want, it, it might make sense. But when you consider the fact that Atriox literally started the Banished because he was so sick of watching his brothers die for leaders who just didn't care about them, and also so they could get away from being a part of some ultra-authoritarian faction, the Banished joining the Created doesn't make any sense. I really don't want humanity's brazen defiance to be in reference to them defying Cortana and the Created. But at the same time, the idea of the Banished full-on going to war with humanity because they wouldn't sign some bad deal they offered them sounds pretty bad too. Maybe it's just like a wrong place, wrong time kind of thing. The Banished sought control of Zeta Halo, and humanity just happened to be fighting to defend it from the Created when the Banished arrived to seize it. That to me, thinking about it now, honestly seems like the most likely outcome, because then it makes the Banished a tertiary faction in the story alongside the Allies and the Created, which is what I think will end up happening. No more prophets. No more lies. We stand together, brothers to the end. There's not much to dissect here, honestly. It's just some really cool exposition regarding the Banished and the Brotherhood that, realistically, they are. I mean, you've got to remember, in forming the Banished, Atriox planned to save all of his brothers from dying a pointless death at the hands of the Prophets, who not only didn't care about them, but also who knew full well they were sending millions, if not billions, to die for a religion that was a complete, fragrant lie. So this just reinforces why the Banished were created in the first place, and it reinforces their motives and their reasons to exist, and I love it, honestly. We are his will. We are his legacy. We are the Banished. However, we are his legacy. Is that in relation to Atriox? I mean, maybe Atriox is still stranded on the Ark, and since the Enduring Conviction got yeeted to High Heaven, the Banished Forces across the galaxy have no way to communicate with him. They've lost all communications with him, and so they think he's dead? Or maybe he was killed during the war on the Ring, and he's actually dead, though I highly doubt that. There's a 0% chance they're gonna kill off Atriox before the game even starts. Given that there's no way for Atriox to actually leave the Ark anymore, besides, I don't know, like a, another banished ship coming to go and rescue him, my money is definitely on the former. But what a stinger that is to leave us on, and what a sick teaser as well. It was definitely short, but dude, it was definitely sweet. And it's so nice to finally get something that's new and that isn't an action figure for once. It actually happened. That said though, we're not even done yet for today. I still want to cover three more brief things. Number one, this message is clearly being transmitted to a human ship of some kind. Now, of course, we have no idea what ship this is. It could be a pelican, it could be the Infinity, it could even be some sort of console or terminal in one of the UNSC's forward operating bases on the Halo. Who knows? Just thought it was worth noting. Number two, before... Before anyone leaves a comment down below saying that the crack on the left side of the screen is a flood tentacle, it... it's not. Now, I'm not gonna lie, when I first watched this trailer, I was instantly drawn to it and did for like a split second think, holy shit, it's a flood tentacle, but it's definitely not. It's a crack in the screen, it's not a flood tentacle. And number three, and shout out to the Bean Finder in my Discord for noticing this, 
The monologue that the brute gives in this teaser is a total of 53 words, 278 characters, and 12 sentences. 53 plus 278 plus 12 equals 343. Bravo. Whoever wrote that dialogue, bravo. Bravo. And what a perfect way to end the video. Don't forget to leave your thoughts, your theories, and anything that I may have missed in this teaser down below in the comments. I'm sure there's going to be a large number of all three of those things, so get the conversations going. And I want to thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I'll catch you all in the next one.